Welcome to Thrifty Garage. My name is Carson, and in today's video, I'm gonna do a review on this wireless phone charger. This Squish wireless car charger can be found on Amazon for $29.99. It has an average of four star review with over 200 reviews. This is intended to mount in your heater vents. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. Now I've actually already unboxed this, I've opened this, but here's what comes inside. We've got some little directions. It shows that it can be mounted from the window with a suction cup, but that's not included. It only comes with the heater vent. Okay, here's a look at that charger outside of the box. One of the biggest reasons I went with this one is when you slide your phone in, the weight will push down on the bottom and hold it in the sides. We'll show that later in the vehicle. But the other couple options, uh, when you removed it, the phone, you had to push buttons or levers on the side to pop open the sides. Didn't really like that. So this is a, a car charger. So this will charge through a case up to five millimeters. This is how it mounts. We've got a swivel mount. This can be tightened. And this will can open up to clip onto your heater vents. So pretty easy design. The cable comes unplugged there, comes with a USB end on the other side. Unlike what's shown in the pictures, it does not come with that suction cup mount. This wireless charger is intended for iPhone X, Max, XS, XR, 8 Plus, and 8. For Samsung S9, S9 Plus, S8, Note 9, Note 8, and other smartphone devices. I have a Pixel, so we'll see if that works. Okay, we're here in the Forerunner. You can see we've got our USB plug down here, as well as our cigarette lighter. I've got my trailer brake controller for the, the business trailer. And then we've got these two vents up here. I'm probably going to put it on this left-hand side here. Uh, hopefully it doesn't block the power and volume buttons too much. So, we might have trouble getting that to hold up. Let's try that bottom rung. So normally we've got quite a bit of down movement. That does limit the down movement. I put that back on the upper slot there. And then we just need to tighten this on the back. You know, we got this cable here. We need to plug in. Kind of tuck it out of the way. I know not everyone's gonna have that brake controller, but that kind of worked for me. I'm drop this in the charger. Charging slowly. That's not what I wanted. Not at all what I wanted. This is supposed to be a fast charger. Let's try plugging this in this different connector. Still charging slowly. Well, this function works pretty nice. See how this works without a case. We are still charging slowly. So that was the biggest reason for swapping this out is we're having issues charging this in this vehicle. It's not really charging, it's just kind of maintaining the battery. Well, the charging slowly is a disappointment. It's not in a bad location though. We still got access to our buttons here. Still push the power button and turn on the volume. It's a little bit in the way. If we needed to, we could move it on this side as well. Not a big deal. We'll see uh, how that works and maybe end up returning that and getting something different. 